Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Drew Bork, and I'm rocking the Phillies hat, not because of another Phillies move, but because of a former Philadelphia Philly moving on and going to the Colorado Rockies, as we wish J.D. Hammer all the best away from Philadelphia, who had a very solid, steady minor league career here in Philadelphia that led to a 4-9-5 in 20 games last year and 40 major league games, a 4-3-8 ERA with 35 strikeouts in 39 innings pitched. Um, when it comes to the big leagues, he's had a lot more of a walk issue in shorter time, 23 walks to 35 strikeouts, where when it comes to the minor leagues, J.D. Hammer pitching to a career 3.66 ERA and 12-8 and record in 137 games with 174.2 innings has in his career 232 strikeouts and 63 walks. So it hasn't been as much of an issue. He's one of those guys that if he can go back to the organization he was once drafted by the Colorado Rockies, that's why I feel this is a sneaky pickup for the Rockies because they obviously know who they're getting. They're the team that picked him. They then traded for Pat Neshek. We got him in the Neshek trade. And Hammer here in Philadelphia was always a guy that we just remember because he had those major leagues reminded you of the wild thing type glasses he wore, which was awesome. But he was also a great dude. Got to meet him outside of the stadium one time when you get autographs outside. He was an awesome fella to, to be able to um, talk to and get an autograph for for a couple minutes as well. And he's a guy I wish all the success um, in his next setting as well as I pull up his baseball savant. Obviously, he's a pitcher that has a very solid fastball. Some solid off-speed pitches, but they've profiled a lot more this far at the minor league level, where obviously teams are still waiting to see what he can do consistently at the big league level, where it didn't look like it was going to work out here in Philadelphia in that juncture. So I, it's nice to see him, kind of like Nicholas Albe kubel for my fellow Flyers fans, it's nice to see a guy have success elsewhere. It looked like he kind of got out of being done disciplined here and figured out it in a new system that's more effective for his play style up there in Colorado, which the system here in Philly isn't effective for. A, a dump and chase system obviously isn't effective for a player like that. Let's just leave it at that. But when it comes to baseball for J.D. Hammer, um, his splits are four-seam fastball, 61.5%, and slider, 38.5%. Percent. He doesn't really throw any other pitches. I think he has mixed in a changeup every now and again in his career. So maybe if he can feature that pitch a little bit more going forward, that can make him a more amped big league caliber guy rather than just a consistent minor league steady Eddie guy. But he's a guy that has good stuff. He just needs to uh, be able to turn it into good stuff at the big league level consistently. Don't have the walk problems. It seems like he rushes the game and starts to kind of think the game, which is obviously your first degree of unsuccessful play in the big leagues when you start overthinking the game and over kind of speeding up the game. That seems what Hammer does at the big league level. With the minors, he kind of seems calm, cool, collected, has 20 career saves as well, and is a good end-of-game guy down there. So if the Rockies can figure him out, interesting that he's decided to go back to Coors, not because it's his original organization, as I said, but because you have to pitch in Coors for 82 of the games. So that's an interesting decision on his part as he's trying to figure out his career. But he'll likely end up starting in the minor leagues again, trying to get it going, trying to get it growing as he builds his way back up to the MLB. Or maybe he will because they don't have the best consistent bullpen, have a hell of a spring training as long as Rob Manfred and the league figured out to have one next season and then really make his way in to the Rockies playing out of the bullpen and become a good developed guy. I wish him all the success in Colorado as former Philly J.D. Hammer goes on and moves on to the Colorado Rockies organization. Peace out, everybody. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and a special thanks to the 170 that have subbed already. If you continue to love the videos and have not already, please consider subscribing to keep us going and growing, and subscribe over at Steel Flyers as well for great all-sports coverage. Have a great, safe, and pleasant week, everybody. Peace.